can consumerism be even something like fishing for compliments? Like you were saying, uh, when a little girl is judged, oh, you're such a sweet little girl, that, that that's actually a disservice to her? Compliments and praise, uh, I think, are equally violent as negative statements like insults. Because notice, both of them are using the same language form. They are both using categories. We're putting people in a category when we say you're a stupid idiot or when we say you're a brilliant person. We're both, we're dehumanizing the person in both of them. So rather than giving a compliment or praise, our training shows that people will get much more out of your sincere gratitude, if that's what you're trying to do, is give a sincere gratitude. Don't tell people what they are. Tell people specifically what they've done that enriches your life express how you feel about that and what needs were met. You'll see that people learn more from that than they do from praise or compliments. Right. But you see, praise and compliments are given for the motive of reward, to manipulate. And approval. Approval the same way. It can be used for the purpose of manipulation. Right. You see. Give an example of what you just said about the gratitude. The gratitude. For example, let's say that I'm a teacher and a student has uh, done a paper, uh, just written a paper. If I say, good paper, that's a very good paper, you're a good writer, that has almost, first, almost zero information value in terms of learning. But if I say, the number of facts that you quoted in this paragraph, I felt very delighted with that, because it really fulfilled my need for greater clarity about this subject. I've given the student a much clearer idea of how I benefited by this performance. That's what we call sincere gratitude. It's based on needs that were met. That's much more honest, and it's much more supportive of the learning of a student, for example. And, and they'll have greater fulfillment in their life purpose. Right? They'll see how their behavior has contributed to somebody's well-being. In this case, by putting this number of facts in, in the report, it contributed to somebody's clarity about the subject matter. Right. That's far more valuable information than the, the judgment, good paper. So if you say good paper, you kind of keep the person up in their head, and they live life uh, waiting for one compliment after exactly. another and trying to avoid the blame. And, and then you perpetuate a domination culture because you have educated them that the main job is to do what authority thinks is right. Right. But I'm also thinking the next step, too, we can get kind of addicted to the compliments and then that approval and then that need for the cars and all of the things that are destroying the environment. Exactly. That's, and it's the purpose of schools, is to educate students to be nice, dead people. Right. Because that's what industry requires, nice, dead people who will do work without questioning whether it serves life. Uh, they'll do it just to get the boss's approval. I work with managers who tell me that they have just been in other training that taught them to make praise and compliments to employees daily, showing that the production goes up if you give right. praise and compliments. Teachers have been told the same thing. Praise and compliments will increase students' performance. I tell both teachers and managers that I've seen that research, and it does work for a very short time until people see the manipulation in it. Right. And then it no longer increases production, but what's worse, it destroys the beauty of gratitude. Now you can't even be sure when somebody is giving some gratitude, whether it's sincere or whether the person is using it as a device to get you to do what they want. Right. You pick up on the manipulation and you resent it. And this is what our schools do, because it's their job to train people to work within structures in which they'll work for. Right. Praise, approval, salaries, and they won't look at whether what they're doing is polluting the environment, whether it is destroying the hiring, the work experiences in other cultures, exploiting the other cultures. Right. No, people have been educated to go in and put in your eight hours a day working for the salary and for the approval.